Hey bitches, it's me, Adorla Feb. Welcome back. Like, hi, girl, how are you? Like, seriously, how are you? Um, <laughs> I am very excited to do like a little update to this video. So essentially, um, I did a Second Life tutorial approximately over a year ago. And I thought it would be a good idea to remake this updated, you know, 2022, new year, you may kind of bullshit, whatever, whatever. So I'll be touching on a lot of random things in this video. So um, I'll be talking about how to generally use the program itself, how to kind of navigate and understand the settings. Um, the, the hardest part, in my opinion, is getting started, so if you want me to do a part 2 on any more specific topics, such as, like, uh, character creation, or literally whatever question you have, please let me know in the comments. So yeah, this video is gonna be a little bit like a few random things at the same time, hopefully you're okay with that. And yeah, and also the first video was, like, kind of a hot mess, I think, I think that's safe to say. But anyway, <laughs> welcome back. So, uh, we're gonna talk about a lot of different things regarding Second Life. Um, I will also make certain references that are kind of, oh, did you see that model? Or no? That are, <laughs> if you've played IMVU, I will also make references references to IMVU and things like that. It'll be easier for you to understand, but also if you're completely like new to Soccer in Life, we can also discuss those kind of things, like what you need to know, what to expect, etc. bitch. Okay. I'll be leaving every important link in the description, so make sure to check that out, and yeah. Obviously, first things first, you need to go to the Second Life website, and you obviously want to join you've done this before you need to like make um an account kind of like a username password all of that i named myself bimbification yes pills make your username something you won't regret because you never know what you're gonna end up doing in second life i mean i never thought i would do this but here we are you can change your username but it's a little expensive so if you're broke like me you know just don't regret it. <laughs> so yeah, so once you're completely done creating your account, um, you should not install the Second Life Viewer. There's nothing really wrong with it, but like the Firestorm Viewer, which is a different program for Second Life, it's literally the same thing, but like it's just better. Trust me on this, okay? okay just trust me on this. So you finish making your account, and then you're gonna go to Firestorm. So this is the Firestorm website. Again, this is 100% trustworthy, but go to downloads and then, you know, download. And then you choose your uh, operating system and then mine is Windows. And then I would choose 64 bit because that's what my computer is. If you're running like an older version that you might need to do like 32, but like I'm 64. Then obviously you install it and yeah, so once it's fully installed, you just log in. Again, like any social media platform, I assume you know how to do that. Bitch, who is this hoe copying me? Absolutely not, girl. Get the fuck out of my way. Okay, so hi. <laughs> you logged into Second Life for the first time. Uh, you look like a rejected version of someone who belongs with Sex in the City, but hey, it's cute, whatever. So evidently, this is where you first, like, go when you're new you can walk with wasd or like uh your arrow keys but if you want to do wasd you have to go to your settings and just like enable your wasd um yeah it's this thing like just enable this um it's a it's a weird color for me but it's it's the second option wasd effects movement instead of like typing whatever so anyway <laughs> you can walk with your wasd for example um e is to jump if you have that enabled can you jump oh thank you um i personally walk with my mouse um the way that you do that is so you click the back of your avatar like the spine and then you just hold your right mouse button um it's way easier to do this because then i can just like have my hand like free you know what i mean if you want to look at these little like signs it tells you what to do like if you you know if you feel like you're lost but girl i got you essentially second life is a, a massive 3d platform really everything that you see was created by someone and i think that's pretty fucking cool okay before we go any further i want to explain the extreme 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 basics of what all these buttons are because i know that like a large portion of people that join second life especially for my view um because you hoes are lazy um <laughs> are confused with all of this okay so first things first oh and by the way if you want to make your thing pink uh, i'll show you how to do that later because normally it's not pink Anyway, this is like your little chat box. Um, you can drag it however you want. You can resize it if you want. Um, 
whatever. So I usually have it like here and then you can type, you can be like, hey, like that. And it types into the general chat. So anyone who's close to you will be able to see this. Um, and if anyone messages you privately, it will be like a different tab. So for example, if I want, if I want to message um, like this guy, William, um, you just like, you know, it opens a tab and you can say hi to him. I'm not going to bother him. And you can alternate between messaging people. Contacts shows you your friends, your groups, etc. You don't have to worry about that now. So the second tab is the microphone. So for you to have like your microphone turned on, you have to go to a place that allows voice chat. And this is not one of them. If you hold this or if you tick it and then you like click it once, your voice is going to be enabled so you can speak through your microphone if you're into that. The headphone icon allows you to kind of, if someone's being a little too loud, you can mute them or if, if they're being too quiet. Uh, this is like easier for newbies, so like if you don't really understand how to get around, you can use this to walk also, like jump. You can alternate between running and flying and all of that. So the eye icon allows you to change like your camera movement. So the way that uh, professionals do it is if you hold the alt key, on your keyboard you can zoom in and out but if you also hold control at the same time allows you to like do this Ooh, okay yeah and you can also go first person mode which i don't really use it often but it's pretty underrated it's pretty cute next up we have your friends list pretty self-explanatory this just shows you who's nearby like how close they are to you and like i guess their age like in days i think your friends list, which is going to be populated once you stop being lonely. Your block list, which you're going to need to use. <laughs> so these are your saved outfits. So once you create an outfit that you like, for example, let's say I want to look basic all the whole time. I can just like save this and like, yay, this is my outfit now. And then when I want to wear it, I'll just right click it and use one of these options. Next up, you have this search tool. Now this search tool allows you to search, obviously um you can search for people specifically so for example if you want to like find me my name is adore but it's abotage with one t um <laughs> so you find my user you open my profile and you can, you can look at it and everything on it and you can like add me or message me or whatever um groups you search for groups um i don't know what kind of groups there are like if like a shopping group or whatever. If you want to join a specific group, you can just search for it. Uh, places allows you to search for places. Now, if you're a newbie or you, if you just want to find a new place to go to, for example, you can just type a few keywords such as like hangout or shopping or whatever. I'm going to type hangout, for example. And as you can see, a lot of things come up and this is the traffic, which is on paper supposed to tell you how popular the place is, but a lot of people like abuse that. So you can use this little button on this side. I don't know why it's on this side. You can just move it if you wanted to, like, you know, down, like right there, whatever. So you can use this to find places. It's called destinations. It's literally the other things that these are like featured, right? So you have all these different categories, like what's hot now, newcomer friendly, editors picks, yaddy, 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 fucking yada. And then if you want to, let's say, go to, I don't know, like newcomer friendly, these are all the places you can go to and even shows you how many people are currently there. Pretty neat. I used to use this all the time as a newbie. But yeah, it's pretty good for you to kind of like get the feel of moving around and teleporting to places in the beginning. So for example, if I wanted to go to London City, which we went to our previous video, uh, and let's just like teleport and teleporting just like takes you to this sim. Yeah, sims are like different places you can go to. Like they're like mini worlds and they're all connected, which is insane. Um, Anyhow, you have like your map, which is literally a map. So it shows you like the yellow dots are people and you need to load up because it's huge so yeah, you can like get around if you wanted like if i wanted to go here i can just like oh well, yeah teleport me right over here uh then you have your mini map which i actually prefer because you know it just shows you like the map and you can just find people this way you can take pictures using this the little camera tool but actually i think i want to do a video where it's like a tutorial on photography so if you're interested in that please let me know because i would love to teach you how to take photos and then we have our inventory system um, now, this is where things are confusing, if you came from IMVU specifically. So you know in IMVU how your inventory is like so neat, it shows you pictures and it's like in little categories like t-shirts, pants, wigs, whatever. 
uh, forget that ever existed because it's gonna be a big huge mess so when you buy something it's gonna be under object and then you need to like um right click and add always press add and never press wear literally never you don't need to so you add and then you like wear whatever um i'm i'll probably touch on this a little bit more either later or in a different video so you right click and you add something uh for example i don't know let's get this torch or whatever i don't know why you would need one so see i added it and now it's on me and if you want to detach it you just right click and detach um or if i want to get this like ugly ass uh big <laughs> um I, I snatched my own wig now you like you just detached it cool okay. your ao uh ao stands for animation override or overrider depending and you can create like so do you see how my um, avatar is standing? Uh, it uses animations to do that. So my walking animation is gonna be a certain thing or my standing animation, whatever, whatever. Once you're a little more experienced and you know how to do this, you can essentially go to your inventory, for example. Um, I don't have any animations on this account, but let's say that you have an animation. Let's pretend that uh, this is an animation. You would click this and drag it over here and you can kind of start setting it up. Again, I could touch uh, on this in a future video if you guys want me to, but this is not going to be something you need right away and we also have this uh these are your quick preferences so preferences are essentially your settings you have like a few quick things to play with like your draw distance if your computer can handle it because second life is fucking laggy if you want to hide your name tag so you can't see anyone's name or your look at target oh which i'll touch in a minute um but the most fun option in this is the wind light now the wind light is like you can change the lighting of a place um but it's only for you no one else sees this um it's most Mostly used for photography, I would say. Pink purple, there we go. This is my favorite one. It's pretty cute. If I wanted to like walk around and have this be like my graphic, like my my lighting setting, then you could, like no one's stopping you. Um also you have way more options if you right click one of these and then you go to toolbar buttons. There's so many more of these. Um I suggest you just play with them. I promise you these are not hard to learn. Before we do anything else, I want to talk to you about the settings. Now you can access your settings through control P on your keyboard and that just opens it up rather than you going like this. First things first, <laughs> I wanna teach you how to make your UI pink because I know I'm gonna get comments about that. So you go to skins and you're probably gonna have this one, just like switch to starlight, starlight and then just choose silver pink or whatever you're interested in. This is, this is entirely customizable. Okay, sis, so, so let's say you wanna go somewhere, meet some people, you know, haul around, get a sugar daddy, a baby daddy, whatever you're interested in, girl, I'm not judging. So you can go to like the destinations tab and for example let's say you're interested in newcomer friendly because you know you want to be around some other like new bitches like you let's say you want to go to social island just like as random as a random location so you can go there you teleport yada 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 and yeah you can just go around and meet people uh, everything takes a little bit to load like i promise you like second life does not run that well unfortunately so yeah let's say if i'm interested in like this place and i want to come back to it later because i'm like oh like whatever it's nice you go up here and then you press the little star icon and you can just save it in your landmarks if you have like a little special folder and the way that you access this is you go to world and then places and then you can like go to your landmarks and here it is so social island so if you're somewhere else and you want to like go back to it you can like just do this or if you want to go back to like the previous place you were just just like do that super fucking easy i promise you Soccer life is not as hard as you think it is. I don't know why people keep saying it's complicated. It's not. And also over here, you have, if you go to content, you go to your SL marketplace, which is like a shop. Uh, so you can shop in two different ways on Soccer Life. You can go to places like in world, which like means like quote unquote in person, or you can kind of like shop through marketplace, which is like things on like kind of an eBay kind of thing. And then you pay with them with your lendings if you have any. So let's say I want like, I don't know, uh, this card again. Like if, if you, if you're going for like an English teacher, your fantasy you can get this and then you click buy now which i'm not and then it would appear in your inventory as previously discussed under recent and object and then you unpack it and you attach it to yourself make sure you take off anything like else you might have that might be like you know clipping oh and also if you want to like play with the newbie avatars you go to your avatar and then ch uh, choose an avatar and then let's say i want to be a vampire because i'm living my Damon salvatore fantasy i can just like choose like <laughs> catherine fantasy um, I can just kind of go to like, I don't know, that and click that. 
and then as you see it changes immediately on the spot. I am definitely going to be doing a video about like more detailed uh, character creation so let me know if you're interested. Okay so this is not going to be a video where I'm going to uh, touch on shopping way too much. I, I wanted to touch on the tiny bit so you kind of get an understanding. So for example let's say you want to shop in world rather than the marketplace. I'm going to be using the store Moncada Paris as today's example. Uh, which is one of my favorite stores for accessories, sunglasses, all of that. Honestly, they're iconic. I, I truly love their things way too much. Like, for example, you have things like this. Like, look how cute and iconic this is. Like, this is giving me undercover celebrity at the airport vibes. Look at these little purses. I am living for this. But, for example, let's say I'm interested in getting this purse, which I am. If you look at these items, for example, you have the advertisement, like the photo for it. And here you have specific colors, like it shows you what colors are available and the HUD that you receive with the item itself. And it is a fat pack only. A fat pack, in case you don't know, is like when you have to pay full price for something and then it gives you like literally every combination of the color ever. So I'm going to be right clicking on fat pack only. Sometimes you have to click on the item, you'll just find out, and then you click pay. Now, this is the price of what I'm going to be paying for. It's basically 1,000 lindens. I'm okay with that. Now that I have the purse that I want, I'm going to go to my inventory, go to recent, objects, uh, add this. Once it's fully added, I'm going to press accept because it's offering me the folder for this, which is called unpacking. Sometimes you get the notification yourself. Sometimes you have to click it like this. See, it still gives me it. I'm going to detach it because I don't need it anymore. Then you open the folder that comes with it, and there's so many options for like which hand you want to wear it on. Um, let's say that I want to wear it on my shoulder. That sounds cute to me. So now I'm wearing this, and if you right click it and edit, you can even like adjust the position of it. So I'm going to do a little bit like that. I'm going to play with it more off screen. I just want to get the basics out of the way. So you play like that. Yes, adorable. Uh, and now I'm going to wear the hood because I'm not really in the mood for something red with this outfit. I'm kind of going for like a Christina Aguilera Y2K vibe. So maybe we'll do something kind of pink. Now you can click like the colors. There we go. Pink. Honestly, adorable. I do not regret buying this. I will be leaving this link in the description, by the way. Um, it's a random store, I know, especially for a newbie, but I just wanted to give you an example. If I do a video for shopping, you get a full list in the description of every shop I like to go to, so let me know if you want to see that, bitch. So yeah, that is how you wear things. Or for example, let's say like I'm, I don't want to hold this phone anymore. Let's see. Um, I just right-click, detach. So yeah, I had to get on my main account for this part of the video. Anyway, let's continue. So I want to briefly also discuss how do you interact with the world around you. So for example, if I were to find like a chair or a bench and I wanted to sit on it, girl, how do I do that? Well, you know, for example, let's say um, I'm zooming in, uh, which is easier. And let's say I want to uh, sit next to this girl who's absolutely flirting with this guy. You get it, bitch. A scam in, like scam that guy out of his money. I support it. So you right click and you sit here. So as you can see, I'm sitting here now, and I think she's gonna be a little intimidated because we have bigger titties than she does. But that's her problem. Do you come from Mars? Wait, who the fuck is this? The gamer fi. Okay, well he looks terrifying. Um, he looks like an '80s. Oh my god, you know those like '80s high school movies where the actors are clearly like 40 years old. Oh my god, this is so him. Don't talk to me if you don't have money. And that, ladies, is how you deal with men in your box. Anyway, <laughs> so that is how you sit. Um, this works with anything that requires a certain animation for you to use it. And yeah, as you can see, there's a hell of people around. Uh, you have these people, um, interesting avatars. I feel like I'm in 2009 again, but that's okay. It is overwhelmingly big, and it's very uh, easy to feel overwhelmed. But the thing is, though, that second life is what you make of it. And this is something that even I had to kind of learn the hard way. It's that you should never uh, rely on other people to form your experience for you. So if you're into virtual worlds, if you're into The Sims, IMVU, Club Penguin, bitch, you, I promise you, will have a good time. Don't treat people like they're real because they are real. Um, hopefully this was like an okay tutorial. Again, there's so many things I haven't discussed, but frankly, we're running out of time. Uh, let me know, what do you want to talk about next? Do you want to talk about shopping, character creation, uh, photography? And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments that you are real, ass, bitch. Which lets me know that you've reached the end of the video. Okay, says, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, bitch.